Hey, we're here to give you feedback on your run. If you have questions or comments, feel free to DM either of us directly or ping us in your rip thread. Um, we're already going to kill you for not e ring It's a bastionless BTRL. The reason why I'm going to kill you on it is because you need to know where the bastion is so that way you don't go that way. Like, you have to e ray yeah. still. Like, it's a mandatory strat no matter what you're playing. We made. Okay. No, nah, it's loading here. Oh, okay, There's a blacksmith. Yeah. Oh my god, it's stop motion. Holy shit, it's stop motion. Hopefully it no gets better. No matter what like, your recording settings are, lower them. Yeah. Like, this quality doesn't look horrible, actually. It just but, looks tough to watch. Yeah. Okay. Like, it's just so much more worth having bad looking videos that are still like verifiable compared to unplayable or very unplayable gameplay and slightly unplayable. Dude, gravel right there. Yeah. Like grab that as like your um yeah, just grab that as your building block to kill this golem. Did I see an RP? No, those are horses. JK lol. Okay, here's some sauce for this part of the village. If you And it's like perfectly in place, right? If you hit this guy and go this way, all you have to do is place a block right there. Like right on this glass, right grass block where my cursor is. And it cannot pathfind to you. So you just have like a golem for one block instead of three. It's insane. Either way, you should be overlapping, like, hitting it first. I can't even tell if he's critting it. Yeah, I don't think these are crits, I was about to say. No, he was, he was. It just doesn't have particles on. Honestly, good point. Yeah, good good, good thing that he doesn't have particles on. Uh, I, he doesn't have FPS. Oh, well, there was a hundred. Yeah, just not where the horse's head was. Yeah. I don't hate getting this many beds, or this many hay bales. You should get a bed for Blaze Bed, regardless. Yep. And you definitely check this shit. Easily, because you're just probably entering the place. No, it doesn't have lava, does it? No, it does. Yeah, it does. I thought I just saw. Holy shit! This is a stacked RP, dude. Dude, I can't read Arabic, but imagine one of those axes is bending. Hmm. That'd be. Oh. Uh oh. This is about to be a forty-second portal. Uh oh. Now you need to raise that shit too. Uh oh. Well. Okay. Cool. We're off to a good start. Minimum. Actually, I'll bet you on it. Nope, you're wrong. No! Dude, if they got their stuff faster, we'd like 305. 305. Sucka. Uh-oh. Get this uh, pie chart sorted earlier. Dude, Pentium? Holy shit. Dude, I was telling this guy, I've never even heard of these PC specs, like, ever. J2900. Yeah. Huh. Dude. We are Brentilda. 20 pauses. Yeah. 
Retime would be insane. Then again, for plus 13 minute runs, actually kind of good. Yeah. What isn't good is running through fire. Dude, you just have, well, I guess you're not going to want to waste wood, but either way. Staircase up. Oh, I never mind. Fuck that. Now you only have five beds. No. No, you have seven beds. I can't do math. Easy. Dude, you're so fine. It's so unbelievably fine still. Uh-oh, now you're going to let this guy hit you, dude. Visible input delay on this is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna, this is what I call, um, like, decision stun locking here. Like, you just have, like, such a free access to this shit that it's not even funny. But then you have this motherfucker right here that's gonna hit you, like, max one time. And just you totally just reroute your shit. You can just go on the side of the um, mountain, like, or the cliff behind him, and just avoid it completely, I think. I mean, yeah, that that would work totally, but the other thing is, is, like, you're just, like, trading one, like, like, you're gonna have time loss here, it's just a fact of the seed, that's not your fault, it just happens. Like, you're trading in some time loss, potentially, like Regent said, you might not even have any, but you're trading in that potential time loss for, like, objectively, like, worse play here. And you're just getting stun locked by this like hog here, because like now you're dealing with it and you're confronting it. When the better thing to do is just not even deal with it, because now you have a hit that like you could have just been that too, but you could have taken that hit down here and then just hippity hopped your ass on up to the chalice and then been totally fine. But now you've just created a path for this hog, no? No. I guess it got Dude, it. where's that hog go? I guess. What are we doing? Dude, first, second, third, and fourth concern is mining that chalice right now. Like, everything else is Where so are we going? fine. Yep, yep. We're going to the, like, the upward backups or something that don't exist. Like, <laughs> Dude. We're actually in the attic. We're in the attic. Yep. Yep. Okay. We're just gonna and we're back. And we're so back. Holy shit. We could have done this 30 seconds ago. Dude. Dude. We could have been mining the chalice a minute ago. Right on the nose. This is insane. Wait. You're playing in a bastionless BTRL. Oh. Hold on a second. <laughs> what? I about that. Okay, you said please don't kill me for not e ring I was playing in a bastionless BTRL. And now you're in a bastion? Like, what are we doing? Uh-oh. I'm I'm definitely gonna kill you for not e raying now. What the fuck? Like if you're gonna play a bastion during a bastionless PTR, just play for like classic seeds, dude. Just like if you don't have a spike but you have a fort, play that out. If you have a spike, just go to the bastion. If you're just gonna play a bastion anyway. Also, hold on. The only saving grace, and I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt because I think you deserve it. Um, I think he might have said, like, I just got finished playing with a Bastionless BTRL, so it's not on the forefront of my mind. But either way, like, the e rang shit needed to happen. Also, how the fuck did you just roll up on this, then? Yeah, just ran into a random... Ah, dude, this is, like, sus as fuck, actually. Now that That's I think about crazy. It. Speaking of crazy, 16... Mind the full chalice. You don't need that much for RSG. Like, ever. 
You need nine to thirteen, maybe. Yeah. On the plus side, he can DK. Does he DK? Oh, he's gonna go DK. <gasps> he knows the route. Let's go. Not not fast, but he does know it. Oh my god. A DK knower. Oh uh, it's fine. You that guy's so fine, you don't even understand. Cool. Hit the block and then roll. Oh, and then the zombie pigs just get out of your place. Mm -hmm. How sweet. Okay, uh, thing for DK. If you place two blocks here and then one block, I think against this one, it lets all of the um, lodestone pigs through. Like, some of them get stuck sometimes, and they just don't get stuck if you make that micro-optimization. You don't even have to like be dribbling pigs like that, or dribbling gold like that. Just chuck the entire thing. And then like replenish it, of course, because you have over a stack left. Just chuck, no, just chuck it all. You don't need it. I mean, you need it, of course, but it needs to be in the hole, not in your inventory. Yeah. Holy Avi. Yeah, I think you just play one. Honestly, if you're like this level with PC, you may as well just like be pausing to change your RV. Causing like everywhere else in the room, so you may as well. Yep. Fill that shit with gravel, not you. <laughs> you have 20, you're so out. I, you're yeah, actually you just out of here. Curls and dip. Yeah, you have nothing to stay for. You have two stacks of string. Grab the like rest of the pearls and then just get out. But it seems like we're going to be here for at least another minute, based on how this is going, just because we're getting stun locked by task overlap that we could be doing while purling. And you're up. Go, 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 go. You're still out. Uh, like, you've been out. You've been out for like 30 seconds. I love the RTA IGT difference. Yeah, right. Okay, to his credit, it looks like he's fixing to get out of here a full 30 seconds before, but also a full 30 seconds since. Okay, now would be the time where you could throw shit out. That was a blind pearl. I don't like them just because of this reason. Like, now you're in lava. Also, you don't need to build up in lava. What you can do is you can double F5. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh, you can double F5 and see the depth and also see the ceiling and also if there's a fortress around you. Um, and then also if you turn on chunk borders, that gives you a good... Um, gauge of how deep it is as well. Also, this hot bar and in inventory, like this hot bar specifically is a mess, just because like you have two pieces of food, sticks for some reason, <laughs> um, and then two things of pearls. And granted, you are off-handing solid blocks, but like, and you have your boat in there, but like those two, really three things of inventory space could be used for like, Fire resistance, pearls, or, sorry, uh, fire resistance, obby, or fire charges, or whatever. Like, gravel. 
Mm -hmm. A lot of wasted uh, hot bar space. Like, this is your prime real estate for the run, obviously. Like, that's what you're using the most. Yep. Hit the ceiling? Nope. At spawner. I mean, work on uh, block clutching. Yeah. Was that spawner? I don't even Are think we? that's spawner. I don't know. Yeah, well, not never mind. Don't listen to me. I thought I saw. I wasn't going to anyway, region, but you know. Well. <laughs> okay. I would PB check you, but I don't want to, like, you know, be mean in front of the rib feedback. You and I both know why it's so low or so high. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, spawner preemptive would have been nice here if you didn't. No, you just saw it. Somehow yeah. through the um, frames. It's okay. pretty much playing a task at this point. Oh. Um, you're jumping a lot during the. There's no way. You have two stacks of strings, sir. You have Dude. so many. You have so many beds and a zombie pig in there. Like, that shit needs to die immediately. Yeah, it's taking up spawner space. Or spawning. Okay, so a couple of things so far. I was getting to the point until I saw you craft that shit where I just had to comment that. So. One, you're jumping way too often while uh, killing blazes. Like, yes, you should crit them, but you should only crit them once. Other than that, like, especially with a stone axe, like, you can just normal hit them and be totally fine. If you, like, the time it takes for you to jump is just time lost for every blaze the second time. Unless, like, you miss your crit, and in that case, that's just a skill issue of, like, hitting it. Second of all, you definitely need to blaze bed here for that reason. Third of all, you're, spot or you're mining out incorrectly. Um, like, yes, if you're going to go back because you weren't going to mine out this back part first, um, like, these six are the most important to do. However, if you have a spawner cycle down, you should be mining out the back first because that's the one that you can't reach from here. Once you have that, you should be mining these six, the blocks immediately around the spawner, and then the blocks to the side of that, and then you can mine the railing. Mining the railing before you have like any of the blocks behind the floor, or like any blocks on the floor is just a misplay. Somehow you get a force bomb here, which is sick. Yeah. Surely we're out. You don't need to be mining any of this. Like, you also take up spawning space, so that entire time, like, shit could have spawned and you would have just immediately cancelled it. Yeah. Yeah, you're just mauling these things with crits that's just, like, not needed. Also, you're about to blind, so you definitely don't need fire res. <laughs> also, you could have crafted, like, while that crafting table was there, you could have crafted, especially since you have fire res now, like, one, shouldn't have had fire res, but two, if you have it, you should use it, right? Yeah. You could have crafted. Dude, we have so many explosives. Yeah, dude, fuck the anchors. We have what? You Eight actually have s seven. Oh yeah, seven. Learn yeah. how to count wood. <laughs> Chill. Um. Math is hard, bro. Surely, do we go? Okay. No, there's no way they're doing bow dive. Okay, you need to elevate yourself. At least a block. If you're not going to do the... If you don't know Bodai, you should be, like, heightening yourself so that way you don't get caved. Do you get caved? No. Sick. Love it. Second of all, learn Bodai. Wait. Dude, I don't even know if Izu macro will work. I was, I was about to say, I yeah, I, I checked myself. I don't know. 
or whatever. Well, even then, like, if you're gonna do pixel per or, uh, perfect. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. That's like one thousand zoom. Though. That's fine. Um. <laughs> the t alt tabbing to the pod is funny. At least he has it open. I've seen yeah. a lot of people that don't. Um, either way, you should be um, standing in corners because it helps for far bastions. Um, Strongholds. Yeah, thank you. I can't speak, you can't count. Together we're one feedbacker. Let's go. Dude, I don't think you need to run this far. I think he was doing four whatever, but I don't even think that that was 90 degrees. Yeah, that was way more. Sick. Love that for you. Let's go. Oh, and he has seven. We're totally fine. Oh, yeah. That one to draw. Well, no, he has an extra uh, rod worth of blaze powder. Um, enable the thing for you to check angles. Yeah. Very, very nice. Especially with the amount of food that you have, you don't need to be using your boat. You can do this, but better, with pearls. And we're gonna do it again. But we got it this time. Yippee. Oh. Get fucked. Dude, oh. Are we here? We are here. Uh, kind of. Yeah. Oh. Dude, place one... Place one block. Right click one time. And then this guy, like, he'll still have the little one to deal with, but it's a little one. Yeah. But this shit doesn't matter at that point. Uh oh, cool, dude. This is all just time loss. We don't. Like, yeah. This is not necessary. Killing the baby ones too. You dude. can just like run past those. They do like no damage. As my man Lil Yachty once said, "Fuck them kids, bro." So I I see the vision personally. It was just 30 seconds of time loss, wasn't it? More. Nah, that was... That was for all the runners that perished from those bastards. I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm being corny as fuck. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Dude. Oh, we went... Hold on. We went yeah, how we went high? And also make sure you're looking at, like, block ports, not XYZ, because now you're, like, a block offset of actual cords. <laughs> that guy didn't enjoy life anymore. Does anybody? Some dude just, like, jumped on. But I guess it was... Same. Yeah, we're just a block offset, which is usually fine. Uh -huh. Well, it wasn't. Deep, it's fine. Oh, no, we're probably just off one. No, we don't. We're going the wrong way. We're going the wrong way. We're no, wrong way. he might hear oh. something. He might hear something. No, nope, oh, he's... Yeah, I forgot. We're good, we're good. 
We have ears, and we're just on the portal room. Yep. <gasps> oh my god. Dude, you have fire res? You're totally fine. Fire res on 14, Brett. You can take that full of image. Uh-oh. Uh, we should definitely be pre-crafting um, explosives here. Well, I guess not. I see the vision. Like, just set up your shit and then go to the back. Or go to the side. Like, I, it's fine. Okay, digging up like this is bad. You need to be uh, break placing, which is just literally like, break a block, place a block, right? What that does is it gives you like free CD skip, which means that the next block that you mine is just faster. Yeah. And also pearl clipping regardless would be sick. Totally unnecessary if you're not zeroing, but still sick. And it's a front dragon, which means we should be placing this. Oh no, it's a back dragon. What the fuck? I mean, illiterate. Okay, we're, now we place it on the left. Surely, surely. Surely, 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 surely. Okay. So far, so good. Dude, place it. What, what are we doing? Oh my god, now the fountain's fucked. Now, you need to be standing closer so that way you can just let that shit ride, or... Drink that, fire res, and then pick up some of the breath. Rare strat. 45 wool is insane. Seven beds, though. Are we looking at an enderman? No, we're a little too low. Also, just pick block the bed, please. please. We don't need to scroll wheel. We don't need to fucking hotkey it. Just pick block it. It's so easy. Holy shit. Dude. You might as well craft an iron sword at that point. Fuck yeah. me. I <laughs> love the two minute IGT RTA difference. Okay, hopefully we're reading a perch. Cool, cool, cool. It's snapping. Yep. Uh oh. Saved, saved, saved. Oh my god. My goat. Surely you hit the seven bed. That one was late. That's why it flipped. But it's PB and we changed the world. 1814. Yippee. Never before seen time. Yeah, you just worry about a lot of shit that just doesn't matter. Even yeah. a little bit. Like this hoglin, all the way back here. The magma cube, like right here. Like all of that shit just doesn't matter. And it affects how quickly you can make decisions. The best. Um. I know that this is going to sound contradictory, but, like, I'll explain more. The best decision that you can make is the one that you make immediately, and you just send. I know that, like, you turned around and, like, that was the decision that you made in both of these instances, but, like, the better option would have just been, like, okay, my instinct is to head this way. Sure, there's a hoglin there. But take the damage and move on. Like, I have so much food, it literally doesn't matter, right? Um, same with the magma cube. Like, all of that shit just very rarely matters, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you have anything else? Nope. Dope. 